So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Well, I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Two starting lineups. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Um, I'm going to go for Daniel Sturridge. He'll run in behind this defence and he'll drop into pockets of space in front of it and he'll drift into wider areas to further confuse the opposition. He's just a nightmare to contain. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. He's come loose. Get that clear. It was all about the quality of the delivery and away with nothing looks like a good ball through and that was asking just too much of him Philippe Coutinho it can only get better this we haven't seen a shot yet and I'm hoping that when we do it'll spark a whole series of them because it needs livening up looks to slip it through there are a few waiting for it that's gone a long way up and away doesn't get the pass he's looking for Philippe Coutinho is steaming forward loose ball who's going to get there in for the follow-up! There it is! The breakaway clinical and clean, and the finish unerring. Well, talking about being hit on the break, the ball was in their net before they could even organise their defence. It was fast and furious, and all but unstoppable. Liverpool get themselves into the lead. Well, they've done well to take the lead there, but they can't let their opponents back in. They have to stay focused. Tries a through ball. Oh, surely that deserved better. Oh, he can't be happy missing that after they put clean through. That's about as good a chance as you can get. to Moreno so what now oh, this man's contribution is as you would expect proving terrific well 
having that sort of player in your side is reassuring because the rest of the team knows he can make his influence count at any stage. It's simply part of his package. When he really wants to, this fella scores. Liverpool can't seem to retain possession. Now the pass. Lalana. Now it's Lalana. Roberto Moreno. Jordan Henderson. And it's half time here. It hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. Ladies and gentlemen, please give your support to our better stadium final. This will goes, and we start the second half. Well, I'm sure the managers talk the talk, and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk. Pushes it out wide. Here it comes. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Alberto Moreno comes forwards. Allen pumps it upfield. Can they find a way to turn around this deficit? Passes it through. That's the through ball. Great leap! Clearance and very necessary. The ball's come loose and the chase is on. Goes wide. Listen, the writing was on the wall, it looked like this was going to happen, and it has. A great delivery and a finish to match. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, I love watching games like this when both teams are given everything they've got to try and win it. This is all the makings of a cracker. Now the pass. Shills one in. a quarter, yes it is. Looks to thread it through, out towards the flank. Sturridge, Sturridge plays it backwards and they'll try again. Deftly done. It's there! And they get themselves in front! What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had.
Liverpool take the lead. I think the danger for them now is fatigue. I think when the body tires, the mind soon follows. So concentration is key from here. Lalana tries to stroke it through. It's a goal! Unbelievable. And surely that clinches it. There really is no way back now. That's wonderfully done. Chris Pitt, true finish. It's almost a case of, of sacrificing some of the power in favour of getting the technique right. And technically, that volley was as good as it comes. That's not an easy skill, we know that by now. That's fantastic. Liverpool take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Ball forward, what does he try from here? Well read, he sorted that out. There's the ball in, and the header! Oh, just needed a better contact. Oh, they really wanted that, there's so many players in the box, everyone's committed to attack now. There to get rid, struck first time. He's got away with one there. Well, I think you can only praise that sort of alertness and the way he almost knew what was going to happen, and he got there really early. That was top stuff for me. Jordan Henderson gets good distance on it. And that's it. No joy for the players, nor indeed for the loyal fans. It has ended in defeat, a thoroughly disappointing outcome. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? It can be difficult at times playing in front of your own fans if you're not living up to the expectations. And I think with confidence looking a little fragile at the moment, they were playing not to lose more than trying to win, and I think everything was just a letdown because of that. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.